in this session, what we'll be talking about that we will be using browsers use with our local LM. If you need to get more details about the browser use, how to use it. So I have a separate video recorded for it. You can refer to that, which is the highlight in the screen right now. So in this video, we will be using our local LM. We all know what is a browser use is a browser agent. So you can automate your browser task. So you just give a prompt and browser can do it. So you can use it on a hosted environment. So browser UI versions, or you can access the API, which in turn use their LLM or what you can do, you can use your LLM. In the last session, we use the open AI. In this session, what we'll be doing, we will be using our local LLM. To give you a context, this is the code which will be executing. So what we have done here, we have showing the integration of Playwright with the browser use. We have added the keys in the environment. We have added our open API keys. And what we are doing is using the Playwright, we are navigating to a website. This is the website. And this is a very basic website. We are just adding username and password, which is already written in a website. We will just log in and we'll do a logout. So it's a very basic task that we want to achieve. And the prompt we have given is login in the application, then log out. The model we are using is GPT-4.0, that is for OpenAI. So I'm running off this file with PyTest. This is a Python framework. I'm using PyTest as my test framework. So it has opened a browser and I'm not given what to use password and uh, uh, username. I'm just asked to log in the application and do the logout. So it entered the username. It entered the password, it login into the website and it should do the on the logout. Okay, so that is completely fine. Let me just close it. It worked well. Now let us work with the local LLM. So currently we are using our open open API keys here, our LLM, which is hosted at their server, chat GPT server. So now we will download a LLM on my computer and we will be using it. A local LLM, first you need to have olama it is a software by which you can work with local lms you can just download it it is compatible for mac os linux and windows once the software is downloaded and you installed as in windows you just need to click on next next and it will be downloaded once it is downloaded you go to your command prompt and write olama so it will give you this and a set of commands which you can work with olama so Olama gives a number of models here, so you can refer it. So it is a deep seek, uh, Gemma 3, and so there are many models out there which we can use. So this is from the deep seek, we have from the Facebook, Llama, and others. You must be seeing here there 1.5b, 7b, these stuff is mentioned. What it means, let's say if I give it select 6671b, it means billion parameters. It is of 404gb. The 5 billion one is of 1.1 GB. So these billion parameters means that this is parameters this model is trained on. So the more the billion parameters, the more analysis power it has, the more good the model is. The model which is trained on 671 billion parameters is better than which is trained for 7 billion parameters. Now there are many models and it every model has a unique thing. So it is not that LLM is the same thing and either you work with Gemini or GPT or Cloud or any of these n number of models so everyone will work same. No, everyone is different as per the data it is trained on as per the use case. Some are better in visions like screenshots, taking the screenshots. Some are better in coding. Some are better in thinking other other stuff. So you need to check which is best for your case. How I can download these in my system? So I need to write Olama pull. So I will be pulling the model and you can select any model. Let's say if I want to use this model, I will just copy it and paste it here. Let me do it now. So it is downloading it. Let me just see what models I do have because I don't want to down an extra. Olama list if it will say that all the models which I have downloaded. So I have deep C 5 billion parameters. I have pulled this one and I have Mistral and Code Lama. So accordingly, the GB is there. So if I'll write 
Olama full. So you can see it is already downloaded. So it was done very fast. So if I write Olama run and my model name, it will start that model. And you will find a message here that you can type what you need. So let's say if I say hi, so it will give the answer. If I close my internet and I just say who are software testers. So see my internet is off and it is generating the text that is generative AI. Right. So because it is using the model which is on my system. So if I ask the question which is trained on better parameters. So currently I was using this 5 billion parameters. If I use the model which was trained on 671 billion parameters definitely we will be having good answers. So this code is using our GPT open AI which is on the cloud. Now we want to update this code so that it use a local LM. So first of all, I, currently we are using chat open AI bindings from the browser use. So currently now what we want to use, we use the Olama binding that from browser use import chat Ola using GPT-4. What I will be doing is I will be mentioning this in this agent. You need to now use the chat Olama model, not the chat open AI model. So I am saying that this model use the chat Olama and what is my model name and let me try first with the model if I write Olama list. So let's start with the basic one which is the deep seek 5 billion parameters which is the minimum model which we have of 1 GB and 5 billion parameters. So let me use this and let's save it. So to run this model we need to first start the model as well. So currently the model is not running. So let me run the model. How we run the model is we just mentioned Olama run and the model name. So you need to also go to a browser and you need to just type localhost port 11434 and just refresh it. It will be saying Olama is running. Then it is all set because from this code when you use this library it will be referring to this port for the LLM integrations. So now we are all set and let's do the execution. So we have seen in case of open AI it was very pretty fast. Let me run the timer as well to see how much time it is taking. So it has been close to now three minutes and we can clearly see that one part is the slow but we leave the slow part but it's still not able to do the stuff. We were using very basic model. So it is might be the reason that because it was only trained on 5 billion parameters. So let me use the another model Mistral model which is trained on 7 billion parameters. Olama run. I will start the Mistral. Similarly I will update here as well to use the Mistral model. Okay, so it is started. Let me verify on the browser that Olama is running. Yes. And now let us me run it again. So now it will be using model Mistral which is more powerful than our earlier DFC which we downloaded. And let's see now it is able to work as well. Let me start the timer again. Okay so after two minutes it was successfully able to write the username in the text box. While we have seen in two minutes Deep seek which was trained on lower billion parameters was not able to do it. We can see that how selecting a good parameters we are able to do the stuff. Now why it is so slow it depends upon the GPU of the system. When we are using OpenAI Cloud One so it is hosted by the OpenAI on their servers which are very high GPU. When we are using running it my fan is running a very high speed my system is heated currently because it don't have such a higher GPU. So if you need to run a local LMS, do you definitely need a higher GPU. Let's wait again and see if it's able to complete the execution or not. Though it is slow but let's see by this model we can achieve this or not. So it has been now 7 minutes since I have seen that it entered the admin then it 
cleared it as well so we can see clearly it is not able to do it it's either the llm is not so good efficient or it's a gpu part so let us stop this and now let's try it with our third llm model which we have and that is code llama i think it should work because as the name said it is basically for the coding so llama run and let me update my model in the script as well okay so i have updated my script and run it again within a one and a half minute it was able to enter the username while our first model didn't do it second model do it in around two more than two minutes let's see is it able to enter the password or not so within two minutes it was able to enter the password it entered the admin it entered the password within three minutes it clicked on login and i think only the step left is it need to click out that is log out of the application my machine is so heated up right now i have so our use case is done within four minutes it was able to log in and log out of the application so now here we see so this is our execution summary we was tried with the cloud open ai it worked it passed and within a one minute it was passing a use case so using deep seek with 5 billion parameters of a local llm we waited for five minutes nothing happened then mistral of 7 billion parameters we waited for five minutes nothing happened and using code llama within four minutes our execution was done so it depends upon both so what is the model we are using we when we tried the newer models the good models it at least doing works for deep seek it was completely blank for mistral it added at least the admin for code llama it was the best right so the better the model which is trained on billion parameters and the specific area will work best for us also the model which has a good computation power currently i was running on my system with a very low cpu if i work on a good cpu power the execution will be much faster so clearly we see that local llm the browser use is working it worked for us for code llama only the time was higher it was four minutes in comparison to cloud ai if we have a better system then we can work with browser use and our local LLM. that of course for all today thank you